Hi guys, The Vinland's Prince here with a special video review as it is Valentine's Day. Now before we actually get to the actual item I'm talking about today, I just want to talk about what Disney Store have done in the past. And you may have actually got a clue, it's got something to do with Minnie Mouse. Now in the past, Disney Store at the start of the year would release these dolls, which are the Minnie Mouse Signature Limited Edition dolls. They would actually release one per year at the start of every year. But that all changed last year when Disney Store was celebrating the year of Minnie Mouse with Minnie Mouse the main attractions. Because every month they would release a plush, a pin and a mug. If I remember correctly, that's all of them, yeah. And to kick it all off, they released this one here, which is the Minnie Mouse main attraction limited edition doll, which is inspired by Main Street USA, which is of course in Disney World and of course Disneyland. So what were they going to do this year then? Well, this year they've done something completely different again. They released this doll set, which is the Minnie and Mickey Sweethearts limited edition doll set. And this is what I'm going to be looking at today. Okay, guys, here's the actual doll set. So once again, it's the Mickey and Minnie Sweethearts limited edition doll set, retailing for £160 here in the UK. It has now sold out. But it is available in the US for $199 plus tax. So I'll put the link for that in the description below. Now, I didn't actually do an unboxing because due to the fact um, when it was released live here in the UK, it was down as a pre-order. Um, unlike previous limited edition dolls where you just simply add to basket, purchase it, and within the next few days it's in your, your collection, in your hands. This came as a pre-order. So add to basket, purchased it, and then you've got a date of when it was going to get released, and then therefore a day of when it was going to get delivered. I completely forgot about that. So when it arrived, I actually looked at the box for, oh, that's a bit too small for a limited edition item. I opened it up to find this inside. So I was kind of like shocked and disappointed thinking that's a bit too small. Because limited edition items from Disney usually range between 13 inches to 17 inches. Um, so that was one of my down points already of the set. Um, but let's have a close look at the set and see what else we can say about it. Um, first of all, the hard work at the front, I do love it. Um, we've got these uh, ribbons and bows, red and white going around all the packaging. You've got the Disney logo here at the top corner and it's limited edition. Uh, one of 4,600, so that's the worldwide edition size of this item. So once it's gone, it's gone. Um, once again, I do love the artwork. Two lovely hearts there. Um, I think, yeah, that's actually one of the um, heart boxes where you take it apart and you've got the sweets inside. And look at Mickey and Minnie there. Um, Minnie there, sweet and innocent. Were Mickey though. He's up to something. He's got a mischievous look about him. He's got something planned. Anyhow, let's do a 360. You've got a side view there of Mickey through a window. And of course, the red and white polka dot ribbons all around. There's the full artwork of what's on the front. Bad boy Mickey there, mischievous look about him. And the side view there with Minnie. Okay, so let's actually open it up. Um, before we open it up though, these two doors are magnetized, as you can actually hear. You've got two magnets um, at the top here for each door and two magnets at the bottom. So it is a quite secure um, doors when you closed it. They're not gonna be loose. And the actual doors themselves are covered with sweetness galore because you've got cupcakes, um, biscuits, pretzels, mousse, mousses, you name it, mouth-watering goodness, as I call it. But we're not here to talk about the doors, are we? We're here to talk about the dolls. So let's open them both up. Right, you're going to get some reflection because there is a plastic sleeve over it. But I'll take that off later on because the certificate is behind the actual doll. So you have to take all this off to get to the actual certificate. Let's zoom in. 
on the actual dolls themselves. And as I said, my initial thoughts were a bit small. Um, I've measured them off camera, they're about 11 inches high. So again, on the small side. But I think the whole overall concept and design of this does make up for it slightly. Uh, let's zoom in. As I said, here's Mickey. Now we've got the cute boy Mickey here. We've not got the mischievous look Mickey like we did on the artwork. Um, red cardigan, uh, red and white polka dot tie with a white shirt. And I do love the fact that his shirt pops out here. Very trendy Mickey. Uh, you've got black code roll pants and black lace up shoes there. I don't know if you can actually see the laces, but we'll have a look at see if you can see the laces without this sleeve on. And of course, Minnie, who seals the show. Lovely red and white polka dot bow in her head. On her head, should I say, not in her head. Um, white flutter sleeve shirts with trim. And here's the actual skirt, these amazing skirts. And it's got an all, all over flocked bow design. And you've actually see there's actually bows sewn into it as well. If I turn it around. So. And here we've got two. Well, I thought there were two boxes of confectionery, but there's actually one. That's the lid at the bottom saying love Mickey. So they're actually, they're actually going to share that. But if it was me, I'd actually buy one for me and one for her. So that's, that's just me. Right, so let's take this off then. And let's show you without the plastic sleeve. Quite easy to do this. Let's take the doors off. Take the plastic sleeve off. There we go. And let's have a proper look at the dolls. Without any reflection, let's see if you've got the laces. There we go. And once again, that amazing skirt. Right. I'm a inbox collector, so they'll stay in the box because I just can't be doing with all these ties and I want to keep them in pristine condition. Um, but everybody's got their own way of doing it. You've got people who debox dolls i keep them in the box so here's the certificate don't know if you can actually see it um so mickey and minnie limited edition doll set released in 2021 by disney store has been created well sorry has been carefully designed by disney store artist to ensure every detail has been captured this collectible doll set is sure to be treasured keep safe for many years to come and that's my edition number there of 4,600, but I should have actually shown that side first because I could have actually said I've actually got number one. Now, one of 4,600, for one of 4,600, well, I've got some my number of 4,600, so I could actually say I've actually got number one. So, well, anyway, I'll put so that's significant, so that's, we'll stay there. Let's put this back in then. Right, while I think on, when you initially take the sleeve off, there is a plasticky smell because the two dolls are made of plastic, which is another bad point. Because I would have thought, my initial thoughts of these were, there were gonna be that stone type resin material to make them heavy, but no, they're actually plastic and they do have that plastic feel about them. So that is another bad point about this set. Let's put the plastic sleeve back on. Now this should be easy, but it should be easy, but I might just jinx myself here. And... Oh, no, that wouldn't help if I knocked it off. What I'll do is I'll cut from here and we'll come back when I've actually got this on because the pressure is on. 
and I'm doing this live on camera. Oh no, I've actually got it in. There we go. Don't need to cut it, went in. Just touch there. Yeah, it's all done. Yes. That was easier than my last attempt. And there we go. Back to normal. Full view there. Yes. So once again, my little down point to this was the size and the plasticky, plastic material that they're actually um, made out of. Um, but the whole design is a cute doll set. Is it worth the money of £160? Um, I'm going to be honest, no. Um, maybe about 120 maybe from 100 to 120 pounds maybe um i'm not completely blown away by this doll set but i'm not hugely disappointed as well um so i would say this is about a six and a half or seven out of ten but i am kind of glad that it's in my collection now especially now it's sold out um, but once again, it's on the US website and I'll put the link for that in the description below. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning into this um, review. Just drop a like, a comment or subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.